Hi there, and welcome to another one of our taster videos on um, science that you can do at home. This particular activity is uh, based on our weather ready kit. And today we're going to make a cloud in a jar and we're going to make some rain. Now, simple activities that you can do at home with stuff you've got sitting in your kitchen. So welcome to my kitchen as we're all in level four alert COVID lockdown. Um, I'm excited to be sharing this activity with you. So what are you going to need today? You're going to need a jar. It doesn't have to be a fancy one with a handle. Any empty jam jar or glass jar will do and any size would be fine. If you've got a aluminium dish like this, a little foil dish, that's ideal. Uh, it needs to be able to fit on top of your jar. But if you don't have one of those, you can make a similar thing just from aluminium foil. That will do the job just fine. You're going to need some ice cubes. Here's some I prepared earlier. <laughs> so you need to plan a little bit ahead if you haven't got ice cubes ready in your freezer. And you're going to need some hairspray. And finally, you're going to need some boiling water. So I prepared some of that earlier as well. So what are you going to do? You're going to put about three centimeters of boiling water or very hot water into your jar. There we go. And you're going to put some ice in your parade. And we're going to put the ice on top of the jar like so. Now after about 20 or 30 seconds, you're going to spray a little bit of the hairspray into the jar, but try not to lift the foil tray too long. Here we are. Now, I've got a dark background. Let's see what happens when I lift the, um, the foil. Let's see if there's a cloud coming out of the jar. Whoa. How cool is that? We've made a cloud. That's pretty exciting. So a couple of questions to think about while your cloud is escaping. is What is a cloud? What's it made of? Well, a cloud is actually warm, moist air. It is made of water, so the moisture is required to make a cloud. Now, the ice on top of our jar is cooling the trapped hot air that is in the jar and as it does so it starts to condense it starts to form little droplets of water now the small floating particles that we introduced through the hairspray provide a surface for this water vapor to condense on as it cools so that helps speed up the cloud formation so in summary a cloud is just a lot of water so for our next activity, we're going to make some rain. So you need exactly the same stuff as before, except we don't need the hairspray for this. We just need our jar, our hot water, our tray with some ice. Now, again, we start by uh, adding our hot water, ideally just off boiling into the jar. And then we put our tray with ice on top. And we're going to wait and see what happens. So we're looking very closely in our jar and we're beginning to see a bit of a cloud swirling around. There's definitely something happening. You need a little bit more patience for this one than you did for making a cloud, but it is happening. After a few minutes, you'll see some droplets of water on the side of the jar. Can you see that? Have a look at the condensation or the little water droplets on the outside of our tin foil tray. And here are some droplets on the bottom of the tray as well. What do you think is happening in the jar? So there you go. You've made a cloud in a jar and you've actually made it rain inside a jar as well. So I hope you had, a, had some fun with this experiment. Remember, the House of Science provides these experiments to schools all over the country. So um, have a fantastic day. See you later.